You guys got speeches planned for uh, for the for tonight? Nope. Just another game. <laughs> <laughs> is is that sort of the beauty of this for you guys? I mean, you've been playing this sport since you were little kids. It, it really is just another game for you guys. Is that you know? Probably on the outside, that's harder to understand. But what kind of comfort is that for you guys? Yeah, I mean, you played a lot of them in, in your career, in your life. Um, obviously, there's some heightenedness to it, I guess. But uh, I mean, once the game starts, it's you're just playing hockey. It's what you've always done your your whole life, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there'll be some some nerve butterflies. I guess we've played in one of these already. So, and so have they. So, it's, uh, once it gets going, it'll just be another game. Have you guys noticed, um, I mean, we ask you so many questions about Igor, but since he got pulled in Pittsburgh, do you feel like he's playing better? Do you feel like that somehow helped him? I think he's been great. He's, uh, he's been our best player all year. Um, any little hiccups, ups and downs, doesn't really last too long with him. And uh, we know what he's capable of, and um, he knows how good he is. And he's, like I said, he's been our best player. So. When you guys get to the game that you want to play, like you played at home um, <coughs> here with the matchups being what they are, is it more, does it sometimes just get dictated by what the matchups are and having to just fight through that? Um, I, I don't know. I think a lot's been made of the matchups. I think both coaches, I think both teams, if they could figure out how to break that recipe on the road, they would have done it by now. So I think in a game seven, a lot of that goes out the window, I think. Um, you know, we just got to get to our game as early as possible. I think um, for the majority of the series, we've liked the way we've played. Um, I think there's some small areas we can improve on, but um, those are things we'll talk about and be ready to go. I think, um, you know, in, in a one game situation, in my opinion, you don't want to look at too many variables. Anything can happen out there in one game. We just got to be ready to play. And I think the team that gets to their game quickest and gets off to a good start, uh, obviously, will, you know, hopefully take the game a little bit and um, be able to carry that through. But, you know, it's a long game, it's a 60 minute game. and. Um, there's a lot of ebbs and flows, and we've seen that through individual games and through the whole playoffs. So um, I think we're ready for the challenge, and we've uh, we've done it before. And um, you know the guys are pretty excited in, the, in that dressing room. Ryan, with, with that being said, does it do, do you feel more pressure for whichever team scores first? Like, does that flip the pressure onto the other team quickly? I mean, yes and no. I mean, <laughs> if you don't, if you don't <laughs> score first, then you like to say no. But if you do, you say yes. Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, you want to get off to a good start, but. Um, like I said, I mean, it's such a cliche, but we've seen the ebbs and flows and how quickly the momentum can change in and, and, and playoffs especially. And I mean, last game, a disallowed goal here, then they score, and then it feels like the game changes. So, I mean, like anything can happen, and um, we just got to stick with it. I think we've done a really good job of um, staying pretty even keel, uh, not getting too high and too low. And again, I don't want to just be throwing out these cliches, but I feel like truly that's been what our team's been kind of relying on. And um, we've done a pretty good job with that. Do you sense, like, in a tight game late third period that you guys are even keel, that that calmness has been present no matter what the situation? Yeah, I mean, I think Mika scored with, like, four or five minutes left in game seven. So, I mean, I, I think that's the only way to approach it. I think if you hit the panic button and you start going crazy, I think, uh, you know, you're, what you've been successful with goes out the window a little bit. So, you know, we've got – Turk's pretty good back there with pushing the right buttons, and we've got some good leadership on the bench. And, um you know, we'll see what happens. It, it should be a fun one tonight. I think, like I said, I think our team's prepared, and um, you know, guys are ready for the moment. And um, it's been a great series, and it should be a good one tonight. Are you? Are you? Um, have you ever been a team this year that has said nobody thinks we can do this? Let's show them. Or is is that just ex you never go to that extent? I don't think we've ever gone there. I think uh, I mean, we believe how good we are in the, in the room. Um, I mean, there's. Obviously, been the narrative of the inexperience and the you're young and all that, and I don't think we really care or pay attention to it. I think, uh, like I said, we know what we have inside the room and we believe in, uh, in what we're capable of. But some teams adopt the us against the world mentality. That's that's not that's not what's driven you at any point this year. Not not really. I don't think so. I think we've we've had our backs against the wall a couple of times. Probably not um, by design, but we've had to respond from those moments and. Um, you know, I just think uh, overall we've done a good job of staying even keel and, um, you know, we've had big moments from big guys and, um, you know, like I said, in, in a one game situation, anything can happen and um, I think we're ready for the, for the moment and, um, you know, I think there's a lot of excitement, I think, especially after game five here, I think everyone was chomping at the bit and we just wanted another crack at these guys in this rink and that's what we got tonight and 
It should be a should be a good one. Jacob, what has it been like for you in these playoffs to play the role of the villain a little bit with <laughs> some hits and some booze and you know um, people looking at you? Those aren't booze. Those are true. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't really think much about it. I guess. Uh, I mean, I play the the way I play. I've always played. Um, I don't know. I guess I haven't really thought about it until you asked me that question. Does it? I mean, now that I ask you, I mean, do you, and you do think of it, does it? Does it do anything for you? Does it help your game? And some guys, it does when they, you know, have that that target. Um, I don't know. It, I don't think it hurts. I don't think it really has an impact either way. I think. Uh, I don't know. I guess I don't pay much attention to the to the outside narrative. My Twitter does, but I don't. <laughs> um, no, I like. We get inside the room and it's you don't even think about it. You're just kind of part of the team and another person on the team. And I don't know. I don't. I, I don't really put too much thought into it. So you don't hear like when you touch the puck, the booze like start when you touch the puck when you're on the road. Well, I heard them in Pittsburgh. I don't hear anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in a game like this, um, do, do you have to dial back the kind of extracurriculars or chippiness at all, um, just because it's you know it's winter go home? Um. I mean, it's obviously heightened. You don't want to put your team at a, at a disadvantage. Um, it's one game, so you can't really afford to, to do something like that. I don't know if they're going to be dialed back or not. I'm not sure, but you got to use your head and be smart. Jacob, your coach, Jacques, and I was saying that he's, if he's talking to the player, it will be short. But he's expecting guys like you or Chris Kreider to be talking a little bit. Uh, are you preparing anything, or are you only going with emotions? No, nah, we're just going to be ourselves. I think that's uh, that's how we've done it all year. Um, even this morning, guys are are laughing, having fun, uh, enjoying our, our time being around each other, and we're going to enjoy this game. And um, now, there's there's not going to be any big speeches. We we know what we need to do, and our team's done it all year.